guys and hi, how's it going? I was just waiting for Calvin. I saw the bus go by out front. So I was gonna come sit out front and wait for him. And he took off running into the house. Couldn't wait for me. I was outside throwing Zeke's ball. Um, get some of his crazies out, some of the last play time in this yard. Earlier, Rachel came over, and uh, since we've had the doors open, because it's been kind of warm, a freaking dragonfly for, for Lola flew in here. Holy crap! <laughs> He's huge! Hey, bud! I'm just like, I'll eat it. I swear, if he gets in my hair, I will scream. <laughs> I probably would, too. Here, hold on. <laughs> Keep him, like, trapped in there. Watch out, watch out. Big old dragonfly. Don't go up, go down. Is he trapped? Do I need to go this way? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Go free! <laughs> big old dragonfly! Yeesh! One of those big grasshoppers in here the other night, it kept crashing into the windows. Did I know it's Put that lights down. I noticed something was weird. <laughs> like it feels bigger in here. This is... like, I noticed some things were taken down. Yep. If I was to get down, put the other light back up. The boring light? The boring light. The ugly light. It was huge. It was like gigantic. Yeah, it was huge. I'll show you. But our Calvin just got home. We just ran to Tomb to get some things. We had to get some new bolts for the kennel, um, for Zeke's kennel, and some new wing nuts. Yes? Something in the folder you need to sign. Something in the folder. Okay. Um, but we've gotten everything packed up mostly in here that's going to be going with us. Do you have a good day? Yeah. Yeah? This is all donate stuff. This is all trash stuff. This is going to Constance. This is donate stuff, and this was out of the trunk of the car. This, we're gonna put the things back in here that belong in these boxes. Have they mentioned anything about school pictures next week? Fall pictures Wednesday. Next Wednesday? Okay. Um, they sent out an email that said it would be- 9 to the 5th. Uh, no, 15th to the 17th. No, she said 9 to the 15th. 9, 15, September 15th. Oh. Yeah, um, they sent out an email saying that there was going to be school pictures between the 15th and the 17th for the school. And I was like, okay, so what day? Because I didn't just want to like have you dress nice for three days in a row. I mean, you always look nice, but yeah. school picture ready. Are we going to do your hair again before then? Or should we pull the color out? Just let it be blonde-ish. Colored. Don't stand on his ball. I still... Still don't know, huh? I, it was, everything was in German that they were reading, so I didn't know what to read. Well, I'll have to show you, but Rachel and I took the drone out across the street.
until, no, there was no cows, until I got a phone call back from Delta. We're trying to see which airlines uh, works with, or is still working with pets, is still shipping pets because of COVID. So we got like a tentative itinerary for in the States, for what days and where and times. What is that? It's like an albino fly. Initially, the flights were gonna be with United, but they um, aren't shipping pets right now because of COVID. Not sure how, how the two have anything to do with each other, but um, Travis asked if we could get different airline and they went with Delta tentatively. Um, so I called to see about pets in cargo and they said, oh yeah, that's totally fine. And I was like, well, I wanna get like a yes from cargo, though that's okay. So um, they called me back when I was flying the drone, said that yes, we can put him in cargo. Also sometimes for military, depending on the size of the kennel, they can do his kennel as a checked bag, which is what we did with Alaskan Airlines on the way here. Um, and it was like 125 or $150 for an excess baggage fee. Um, whereas if we ship him cargo with Delta, it will be $600. Oh my gosh. Which is more than the check bag fee, but way less than using a shipping company. So if that's the most we pay for him, at least we can get him all the way there. Look at him, he's so cute. You hungry? I can make some food. It is 7.07. .07. Calvin is eating his breakfast. Getting ready for school. It is Friday, which means it is the last weekday that we have our things. Um, this weekend's gonna be kind of busy, packing up things, going through stuff that we want to keep out, going through stuff that's okay to be shipped. Um, they said they will ship all of our things, like food things and makeup things and even nail polish. Um, it just needs to be in like gallon size Ziploc baggies. So I'm gonna have to go through and do that this weekend. It's gonna be busy but then it will like slow down a little bit for like the last two weeks we're in the house where we don't have anything. It will just be touching things up, cleaning, maybe painting. We're gonna contact the lawyer, the lawyer, the landlord and see if he wants us to paint um, or if he's just gonna paint because he's gonna take the carpet out when we leave and redo that. He's gonna have to redo the kitchen because we've gotten this fridge since this one died but you can't take out this fridge because it supports these cabinets. So he's gonna have to redo everything in here anyways. So yeah, um, we're not sure like what he actually wants us to touch up, fix up, paint, all of that good stuff. So we're gonna have to find out from him what we need to do. <sighs> we'll have plenty of time to do it. All right, your clothes are on your bed, okay? Today was far less busy. Oh, I forgot my watch. Um, we still got plenty of things done. I started packing my bags and now we are headed to dinner with Rachel and Brian and the girls um, for like our last, probably last like going out together dinner. But also we had like a back to school fire at Rachel's house and Travis couldn't go because that was when they started working crazy hours. So we're gonna go to dinner, go into Cantina Mexicana where we had just gone, rode our bikes from Travis's house. We're going there again. Calvin hasn't been there in a while. What's that? Cantina Mexicana. Oh. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> this okay. is your moment to shine. <laughs> nothing? You got why nothing? Don't you, why don't you tell her your joke you said that part? You have stage fright? Oh. What is a banana split in half? <laughs> she, she looks at me in the car and she goes, she goes, what do you call a banana that's been split? And I was like, a banana that's split? Was like, she was like, oh. so we were trying to go over the etiquette on jokes and I was like, maybe you could word it like, what, what do you call a banana that's been cut in half? Yeah. No you call a banana split. split. Like, you don't want to use the same word that you're trying to, you she, know. What do you call a banana that's been split? <laughs> a banana you call, split. Yeah, what do you Smoothie? call a banana split? And you're like, banana, what? Banana like, you split. Have a theory, someone came in and told some jokes. There was a video I saw on, on Facebook today. It was like a, like a small skeleton. And he, it was like a guy holding it and pretending to talk. And he's like, what's a skeleton's favorite meal? And the guy was like, I have no idea. I'm so stressed out. I'm under a lot of pressure. And he like, pew, pew, pew. what the f is a 
a skeleton spare rib. And the guy was like super freaked out. He's like, spare ribs. I said spare ribs. <laughs> and the guy was like, how am I supposed to know? Why do you knock on the refrigerator? And she goes, why? I was like, because then you might catch the salad dressing. <laughs> and she, we had to explain it to her. Yeah. She's like, oh, I get it. Wait, say that again? You so might catch the salad you dressing. Yeah. Yeah. In case you catch the salad dressing. Putting on clothes. Okay. They're, they're, dressing. Dressing. they're getting dressed. Why do you not? <laughs> <laughs> we caught it. We caught it on film. We caught it. <laughs> <laughs> you have the cutest little smile. Look at your little Bucky Beaver smile. You want the live? Bite it. Oh, yeah, you're <laughs> so Dad said every time I massage back in the face. Oh, oh, in case you hadn't <laughs> picked it up, we're at dinner. <laughs> Brian's turnt down there. He had a whole pina colada. <laughs> Brian's getting turnt. Up. It's a good thing that glass is empty. Oh, Tip it over. Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Get off. I don't think I can do it. You don't think you can do it? I don't think so. These hips don't do anything. <laughs> you just gotta time it right. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. I'm all night. Gotta work on my abs. I'm on tonight, you know my hips don't lie. It's falling, it's falling, it's falling, get it back. Get ahead of the curve. There you go, get it out. You gotta, you gotta do it like onto your arm and... I can't get it up. Right there. <laughs> That's what I said. Whoa! <laughs> common problem, I understand. I <laughs> We had a wonderful time last night with our friends and once we got home I had a message from Rachel realizing that we only have about a month left here and tried not to get emotional. Um, today Constance came by and picked up all the plants as well and also got a little emotional that we're leaving. But uh, all my plants are gone now. I'm plantless. I just got fake plants left but also what is our living room? We took everything apart, we rolled up the rug, the table's here, the bed is here. Stuff came off the walls. Cleaning out that. Our bedroom. <gasps> All we have left is a mattress. Our bags are mostly packed. The dogs are getting antsy because we're taking Calvin to Caleb's house. Are we taking the dogs? Um, no, I don't think so. <gasps> You're staying here, my boy. I really don't want to get the car full of dog hair before we go home. Oh, sorry, my dudes. Sorry, you're staying here, my dudes. But I'll give you guys peanut butter Kongs. Peanut butter Kong? Peanut butter Kong? All right, let's go. Let's go! These are the plants Constance couldn't fit in the car today, so they're just waiting. The boys are gonna be so excited. Do I smell like the dogs? I know. Earwigs, they're everywhere. Yeah, they just walked right in the dogs, right? Yeah, almost every time I open the door, they come in. <laughs> this looks so empty now without my vines hanging here. Baji, it looks so empty. Look at it. It's so empty. What am I gonna put on these shelves? More plants in California. You guys want my side? Go my side. Look how empty it is, my dogs. Oh my goodness. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> Go potty, my boys. All right, Baji, I will pay you. Come here. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh my dog, oh my dog, oh my dog, oh my dog. Can I have a kiss? What a doggy, can I have a kiss? Dip 
squeaky. This freaking floor is really hard without a rug on it. Come here. Get over here. Get over here. Come here. Was it? It worked. have been busy busy little bees we got back from Travers house last night we took Calvin to Caleb's house he wasn't even with us at Travers house um, today we have to take apart this we need to take apart this we need to take apart my desk and then the one that all of our clothes are on in our bedroom um, I forgot to mention the other day we went to vehicle registration and deregistered Travis's car let me zoom out that's better um, we deregistered Travis's car since we don't have it anymore, but it is crazy right now. The lines at vehicle registration, I'm pretty sure walk-in hours are like the first things in the morning and then the second half of the day you make an appointment. But people get there sometimes at like four o'clock in the morning and they're still waiting there for like six hours to be seen. It's bananas. It was never like this before COVID. It's crazy. So that line is like to register your car. Ours was just to deregister. So we were in like this really short line. It took maybe 20, 30 minutes. It didn't take very long at all. But if we were doing the reverse of that, it would have taken a long time. I noticed this morning I can see my obliques. Hey, proud of me. Boop. 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 My good dog. I'm sorry, do you want boobs too? Boop. 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 Hand yeah, no. I'm gonna try to edit one more video, this video, and then we're gonna start taking stuff apart because tomorrow the movers come and take all of our stuff. So we're gonna pull aside a handful of things that we're keeping out. Um, I need to go through all the kitchen stuff, pull aside the stuff I'm keeping out, all the bathroom stuff. We already did our clothes. Um, and then I need to get all of my my vlogging stuff together. So that's what's on the agenda for today. But we hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next time. For now, that is that. We'll see you when we see you. Bye.